Excel is a really powerful tool when it comes to real estate financial modeling, but it can still be a lengthy and time-consuming process to build out a model from scratch in the software. Fortunately though, Excel has some really helpful built-in shortcuts that can make this process a lot more efficient, and these can significantly speed up your workflow if you're not using these already. So if you want to be able to build out models faster to prepare for an upcoming Excel interview exam, or just to get more done in less time on the job, in this video we'll cover four Excel shortcuts that I use in every model that I build, and the scenarios in which each of these tends to be most helpful. So the first shortcut here is really an entire group of shortcuts that can help out with formatting, and these are number formatting shortcuts. When building out a real estate financial model, or even when working in a pre-built model template, when you're running a new calculation, you're very often going to need to quickly change the format of your numbers, especially when switching back and forth between different metrics. For example, in one cell, you might be calculating a cap rate, which needs to be expressed as a percentage value, but in the next cell, you might need to calculate total project cost, which needs to be expressed in currency format, and in the next cell, you might need to dynamically calculate a projected sale date, which needs to be shown completely differently as a month, day, and year. And switching back and forth between these with your mouse every single time you need to make a change can be a really time-consuming process, and this is where two different methods of using these number formatting shortcuts can start to come in handy. The first is the one that I tend to use most often, and this is Excel's built-in Alt Key Shortcut functionality, which allows you to see which keys correspond to each part of the Excel ribbon directly on screen. And to use this shortcut, all we need to do is press the Alt key by itself, which brings up a small black box under each tab of the Excel ribbon, and if we press the H key from here, this allows us to control the Home tab, which is where we can control our format. The four shortcuts I use most often here are Alt HNC and then Enter for a currency format, Alt HNN and then Enter for a number format, Alt HNS and then Enter for a date format, and Alt HP to format a value as a percentage. And if for some reason you don't want to use the Alt shortcuts to do this, there's another set of keyboard shortcuts that also allow you to quickly change a cell's format with holding down Control, Shift, and 1 at the same time, returning number formatting, holding down Control, Shift, and 4 at the same time, switching the format to a currency, holding down Control, Shift, and 5 at the same time, returning a percentage value, and holding down Control, Shift, and 3 at the same time to return a value in a date format. These are by far my most frequently used shortcuts in Excel and save a lot of time when building out a model or running new calculations in an existing pro forma, so regardless of which method you choose to use, these can significantly speed up your workflow on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, the second shortcut that I tend to use most allows me to have a lot more control over the specific aspects of a cell that I want to copy, and this is Paste Special. Paste Special allows you to isolate exactly what you want to paste in each cell, which can be a huge time saver, especially when it comes to formatting. If you're working in a pre-built model, it's very likely that there's a lot of existing formatting in place that you won't want to mess with every time you copy and paste something into a cell, and Paste Special allows you to avoid this very quickly and very easily. To use Paste Special, after copying a cell, you can select the cell or cells that you want to paste into and then use one of two different shortcuts to make this happen. The first is another Alt key shortcut, and to use this, you can hit Alt, E, and then S, which brings up that Paste Special window, and from there, you can hit F to paste only formulas, V to paste only values, and T to paste only formats, or alternatively, you can also use Paste Special by holding down Control, 
Alt, and V all at the same time, which brings up that same exact window where you can again hit F for formulas, V for values, or T to just paste formats. Paste Special also allows you to do some really cool things like add, subtract, multiply, or divide numbers in bulk, which can be really helpful if you wanna quickly convert a set of whole numbers to percentage values, or if you wanna apply a percentage increase to a list of hard-coded values all at one time. Now, the next shortcut I find myself using a lot when building out or working in real estate financial models is also related to formatting, and this is a shortcut to auto-fit my column widths. When you're working with big numbers in a model or even adding line items with a lot of text, you'll often find that these just don't fit into Excel's standard cell size, which can make a model look sloppy with text spilling over into other cells in the workbook or can even result in a bunch of number signs showing up instead of the numerical values that you've entered in a cell. And to fix this, we can use Excel's auto fit column width functionality, which makes this really simple to clean up without even taking your hands off the keyboard. To use this, just select the cell that's either overlapping into cells to the right or to the left of it, or showing you those generic number signs. And from there, you can hit Alt H O and then I to automatically adjust the column width to that text or number size. This can be really helpful when you are manually typing in the names of long line items or working on high value properties, generating seven figures or more in operating revenue or expenses. And again, this just makes things a lot easier than doing this manually by clicking and dragging your mouse every time you need to do this. And by hitting Alt, H, and then O, you can also access a few other cool features that are often useful in a real estate financial modeling context, including including things like auto-fitting row heights by hitting the A key, renaming a sheet by hitting the R key, or copying or moving an entire sheet altogether by hitting the M key and then making your selection from there. Now, finally, the last category of shortcuts that I wanna cover in this video is also related to formatting and comes up a lot when you're changing things within a table or creating new sections of a model entirely, and these are border-related shortcuts. These allow you to add outlines to cells on only specific parts of each cell, which can help you quickly and easily clean up a model without going through the manual process of bringing up the format cells window each and every time you wanna make an adjustment. And again, this is another shortcut that can be accessed by hitting the Alt key to start. And from there, we can just hit H and then B, which will give us a list of borders to choose from and the keys associated with each of these borders. The most common border shortcuts that I use are Alt HBA to add borders around each cell selected, Alt HBS to add only outside borders around the entire selection, Alt HBO to add just a bottom border to a cell, and Alt HBN to remove borders altogether. And if you wanna use those control shift shortcuts that we talked about earlier on in this video, there are also some options for this, but these are going to be limited to adding just outside borders by holding down control shift and the seven key and removing all borders by holding down control shift and the minus key. So while these can be convenient in a few specific use cases, I usually prefer the alt shortcuts, which are much more flexible. Ultimately, all of these shortcuts can make your real estate financial modeling significantly faster, and these are the four that I tend to use most often when building and working in pro forma templates. And if you wanna learn more about real estate financial modeling and how to use these shortcuts when building out models from scratch in Excel, as always, make sure to check out our all-in-one membership trading platform, Breaking a CRE Academy. A membership to the Academy will give you instant access to over 120 hours of video training on real estate financial modeling and analysis. You'll get access to hundreds of practice Excel interview exam questions, sample acquisition case studies, and you'll also get access to the Break into CRE Analyst Certification Exam, which covers topics like real estate pro forma and development modeling, commercial real estate lease modeling, equity waterfall modeling, and many other real estate financial analysis concepts that will help you prove to employers that you have what it takes takes to tackle the responsibilities of an analyst or associate at a top real estate firm. 
And if you like this video and want to see more content on the channel on Excel shortcuts or different Excel functions that are used within real estate financial models, make sure to hit the like button and let me know. And let me know in the comments any other Excel shortcuts that you found helpful that you use on a regular basis. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see more videos like this every single week. And I'll see you in the next video.